Reading Educational Fund, and I have Chris Kelly and Nancy Dieselman who are here to talk about it. So can you give us a little history and background about what the foundation is? Sure. Um, so hi, welcome. Thank you. We're happy to be here. We're the Reading Education Foundation, and um, our history dates back all the way to 2001. We were originally the Technology Education Foundation, our TEF. And then in about 2011, we morphed into a full education foundation. So we don't just fund technology within the schools. We work in tandem with the Reading School Department. All of the schools write grants, and we raise money to support innovative programming that may not be funded otherwise. Um, so you mentioned programming. What kind of uh, programs and events do you have coming up or interesting ones that you've done in the past recently? So the way it works, I'll, I'll briefly talk about our fundraising efforts. We, re we run two major fundraisers a year, the Festival of Trees, which is held in December at Parker Middle School, and we love that event. And we just recently held our second major fundraiser, which is the Imagination Celebration, which was a gala uh, the first weekend in May, which we always run it that weekend, as well as an online auction. We're still coming up with the totals for those events. But we're hoping last year we were able to give $40,000 back to the Reading Schools with grants um, at all the schools. So I'm going to pass it over to Nancy a little bit. Nancy is our grant chair, and she'll talk a little bit about the grants that we funded this last grant cycle. Hi. Uh, this year we um, received about $53,000 worth of grant requests, and we were able to grant 40, over $40,000 of grants. Uh, we um, funded a total of nine grants, one at the high school level, uh, five at the middle school and three at the <laughs> elementary school level. Um, just to give you an idea of the kind of grants that we fund at the high school this year, um, we funded a grant to help expand the Rockets Help Desk, which is an amazing program um, where it's a student-run organization that provides technology support for both students and faculty. And they, th these students will work with um, individuals or with a class. They create tutorials that are online to help people with any kind of technology integrations that they have. And they had such an overwhelming demand that we are providing additional hardware and software and accessories for them to expand their program. Fantastic. Yep. And middle school, I'll give you an example of one of the middle school grants this year. Um, it's an all school eighth grade read for um, a, um, Eating with a Social Conscience, which is um, to help the children understand the plight of the migrant worker. Oh. And so the, um, the teachers have developed a number of different um, activities related around the read of this book across the different areas of their curriculum so that they get a, a very well-rounded experience. And the nice things about grants like this is that they can then be passed on. The entire book and all the work that they've done can be passed on to Parker or to other teachers who want to do a similar thing in the district. Um, in elementary school level, a nice example is we're doing um, professional development for um, math at the elementary school level. And it's called Numeracy is the New Literacy. And a few of our teachers had gone to a workshop that they thought was just fantastic. And it really changed the way that they want to approach teaching math to the youngest kids for them to develop a real understanding of literacy in mathematics. And um, we're doing an expanded pilot program where we're going to fund up to, up to 30 teachers uh, to attend this two-day hands-on workshop. Excellent. And if it works out well, and then they once they implement it in the class, if they see um, the improvements that they're hoping to see, then they're hoping to expand it to every math teacher in the elementary school in all the districts. That's great. Um, so how can people find out more information about the Reading Educational Fund uh, Foundation um, is a website? So currently we're uh, doing our last major fundraiser of the year. We're going to be offering teacher tributes. And this is very exciting. We started it um, two years ago. And this year we're working with the parents associations at different schools. And it's a way to thank a teacher, a staff member, an administrator for all their hard work and donate money to Reading Education Foundation as well as the PTOs. We're going to split some of the proceeds. And those are ongoing right now. You can sign up for a teacher tribute right on our website. Or if you like, would like to join our board or be involved in our events, we're always looking for help. You go to our website, www.readingef, as in educationfoundation.org. Mm -hmm. right. So uh, <laughs> we have our new logo right here. I'll hold it up. And um, this was actually produced on the 3D printer, which is now at the high school that we helped fund. So it's very exciting. Very fun. Our... 
things. Yeah. Um, so do you have anything else that you'd like to make people aware of about the Reading Educational Foundation? So as I said, we're always looking for ways to get involved, especially if parents are watching. Um, we work in tandem with the Parents Association. You can be involved in your school's Parents Association as well as us, and we would love it. Uh, we typically meet what, the third Thursday of the month at Parker, and we try to keep our meetings fairly streamlined. Uh, anybody is welcome to come, um, and we would love to have you be involved. There's a way to get involved right on our website. Again, that's www.readingef.org, and we're looking forward to teacher tributes, and then come September, we'll be starting our Festival of Trees planning all over again. Excellent. Thank you so much for being with us here tonight. Thanks Thank for you. having us.